That's right, Chris. As you mentioned, COVID cases have gone down and the numbers clearly show it. If you remember in January, we had a few days with over a thousand cases in Allen County, but recently we've seen days with numbers in the double digits. I spoke to Huntington County's health officer today who says his county has also seen a decrease in numbers and he's relieved to be on the other side of the Omicron surge. This is what we expected to happen. Dr. Matt Flieger in Huntington County says we are now on the other side of the Omicron surge. And this graph of cases in Indiana shows it. A steep incline and a steep drop off for the seven day case average. Lynn Davis says even though she still went about her life as normal during the surge, she sees the decline as a positive thing. Very good thing. Yes, it is. I'm sure I'm hope it will ease a lot of other people's minds. Flieger says the number of hospitalizations and deaths with Omicron were not as drastic as they were with a Delta variant. And as a health professional, he says it's a welcome change. Change. Those things makes us go, oh, awesome. Um, and so I think, yes, we're moving to these this next stage of our response. Which he says involves looking at taking protective measures on a case-by-case -case basis. We're at that stage where a person can start to make these kind of individual decisions as to what they need to do to help keep themselves safe and to keep other people safe. For example, he says in close quarters, especially for those who are high risk, it's a good idea to wear a mask. And it's especially important to wear a mask anywhere if you have cold symptoms. Because it's a uh, airborne droplet spread virus that spreads through coughing, sneezing. And for that reason as well, he says we shouldn't have to worry about another surge until fall or winter. But now, Flieger says evaluating each situation is the way to go instead of blanket statements that we've had to say over the past couple of years because there's just been so much infection in our population and trying to control that spread. And coming up in our next half hour, we'll have more from Flieger about what else health experts will be watching for over the next few months. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Kelsey Mannix, Fox 55 News.